Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to introduce you to kohlrabi. It's a wonderful vegetable if you've never grown it. It's related to a cabbage and in fact it's a cultivar which generally speaking means really I think it was like the 1600s I read that somebody noticed a particular characteristic with a cabbage that has become the modern day kohlrabi. And basically what they did is they kept selecting seed to get a cabbage plant to grow this swollen edible root. So they kept, you know, seeing a cabbage that had something that looked like this. They selected that seed, planted that seed, and they continued that until you got your modern day kohlrabi. Kohlrabi is a cool weather vegetable. It likes the cool weather. It can take a light frost. Put this in the ground. If you're going by seed, a couple weeks before the last frost, you can start it indoors, transplant it outside. But if you start it indoors, make sure you get it into the ground pretty quick. You don't want the roots to start coiling up in the containers because it stresses the plant and you won't get a nice bulb size. I've taken out a couple large kohlrabi out of here already and again it takes 60 to 70 days to grow. Once it starts getting too warm your kohlrabi will start to get woody and right now it's very buttery. You can actually, oh, I just cut my finger with the knife, be careful. Um, you can actually eat the leaves when it's cool. They get a little bit bitter as it's warming up now in the middle of June. But kohlrabi should cut, the knife should cut through it nice, just like butter. You prepare it by just peeling it. And it just gently goes through. It tastes like a cabbage, it tastes a little bit like broccoli. You want to plant this and space it about four inches apart. You can grow these certainly in the spring because they are cool weather vegetables and you can start them again for a fall harvest. And I'm peeling it because I just want to show you how I eat it. And right now this cuts through really easily. I eat it like an apple. Once you peel that off you can just eat that like an apple. If you want, just cut it in half. I know I'm a little shy now to cut my, my hand again. But I cut it into slices too and just salt it and you can eat it raw. You can also cut it up into cubes, lightly stir fry it. But it has a wonderful, wonderful cabbage flavor and I think you'll really enjoy it. So you want to harvest it at about a tennis ball size. It can get a little bit larger. Let me just show you another one. These are all going to come out today because I don't know if you can see, but there's little white flies flying around. So rather than risk a white fly infestation, I'm going to pull all of these out. But it cuts through nice and easily. That's how you know your kohlrabi is not too old. It's, it's absolutely delicious. I really recommend you give kohlrabi a try in your garden. I think you will enjoy it. It's going to come in different shapes sometimes. Sometimes it'll look like this, not quite round, more oblong, but the same thing. Cut it down, peel it. If you want to store it, store it just like this. Let's see if I can cut that. Cut the bottom out, rinse it off, and this will stay in your refrigerator for a good solid two weeks. Absolutely delicious. I hope you give kohlrabi a try. It's a wonderful vegetable, easy to grow, cool weather, planted about four inches apart. It will mature in 60 to 70 days and you can grow them in the spring and you can also grow them in the fall. Please check out my blog at www.therestofgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.